All right, we're gonna take a look. We have this brake that was dragging, and we've got a visual spot on the rotor where it's been blued, and then you can hear here, there's a spot that's catching, and it's just barely hitting in one spot. Yeah, one thing we've done is we've taken the belt off to eliminate any belt drag or anything else. We're All right, what do we got here? We're, We're going five. negative in that one spot. Negative one to seven. Seven oh, thou? Eight thou difference. So eight total? Yes. And watch what I'm gonna do. This is just being extremely diagnostic here. We could see this is a pretty good blued spot, but we have it opposite too. So what I wanna do is I want to find that area. It's somewhere around here, okay. Here and here seems to be the really bad spot. You agree with that? Yes. Somewhere around there. We'll go to, let's say five. That's our five to eight range. I could say five to eight. Okay. And then kind of moved a bit, but we'll go back roughly minus two, let's say. So zero. And then here we're five. Okay, so we've got some spots marked. And what we're gonna do as well, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure and mark in the worst spot, I'm gonna mark across the rotor and the hub itself and verify that the flange is good. Because if I put a new rotor on here and it and the wheel is what doesn't have a straight surface, my new rotor's not gonna fix it, is it? You see here, I'm gonna make a witness mark across the bolt and the rotor. That way I can tell when I hit it with the hand impact if it's actually turning. Sometimes you got to use heat to get these bolts out. So make sure and do that before you grab your air impact. Watch how easy these come out now after having done it by hand first. Also, Harley recommends that you replace these after every third use. All right, we are on the flange itself. Talk about double checking everything here just to make sure that we have a good wheel to deal with. What do you guys think of that? Pretty true. You know, and to say, if you read this too literal and you go, oh, that's a thousandth, but it's just a bump because of a little nick or, you know, a, uh, even this has to be clean. You can see we didn't clean it. We just threw it on there and, and we're checking it out. So it's in good shape. New rotor? Make sure and clean your new rotor with some uh, brake contact cleaner. There's a protective film on here so it won't rust. We want to make sure and do that. Snug these down first, kissing them in a star pattern. And then I like to torque in two steps, so we're going to split it in half and uh, repeat the process. Good to go. Anybody want to check it out? Okay. You all good? All right.